So hello and welcome to another daily show. Now remember, every day of the working week, we are interviewing guests from the industry uh, via Skype. And today, uh, we're pleased to be able to say we're going to be talking to Tim Mitchell from CG Tech. Uh, Tim, welcome to the show. How are you? I'm all, I'm all good, thanks, Paul. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good here in sunny Northamptonshire. Glad the sun's come out at last, even though Absolutely. we can only uh, get the benefit of it from our gardens currently. Um, yeah. Tim, for those that, that uh, don't know of CG Tech, of course, there are a lot of videos online that yourselves uh, do, and uh, as well as on our channels. Maybe you could give us a 30-second insight into how, uh, um, you know, how you help UK manufacturers and what you provide. Yeah, no problem, Paul. Yeah, so CG Tech UK, uh, we're a sister company of CG Tech uh, the US. That's where our um, parent company is. And we we sell and service very cut software within the UK and a few other uh, overseas countries um, in, in, in Europe, etc. Uh, very cut is all about uh, verification of your NC program and also optimization simulation that sort of, that sort of thing paul that that is our bag okay compatible with pretty much any machine tool and any and any control type absolutely we can work with any machine tool like you say uh, any any machine tool or anything that's nc driven really paul uh, robotics that sort of thing and as far as cam systems are, are concerned we can work with uh, any any of the uh, major players any of the small ones and we can be independent as well uh, now, f for you guys at the moment, uh, Tim, how are things? I mean, you're obviously uh, at home, uh, working from home, pretty much yeah. like uh, the rest of us. Um, are, you, are you still managing to service your customers and your, and your clients remotely? Yeah, yeah, we are, Paul. Yeah, obviously, we've seen we've seen a slowdown, as pretty much everybody has, I, I, I believe. Um, you know, but we are here to help our customers, uh, and we always are, really, because... A lot of our technical team, they're, they're office based anyway. It just means that they're working from home now, uh, but we can still offer the service that we would would do normally, uh, you know, via the web, via internet calls, video links, that sort of thing. I mean, we, we, we come well, everybody's always looking for angles, looking for positive uh, things in, in difficult situations. One of the things that we've been talking a lot about is automation, and, and this is an opportunity for companies that do have automation to not worry too much about having operators on site, letting them work from home. Um, is there any aspect to your software, to the Vericut software, that can assist people in these difficult times that might give you a bit of an edge? Yeah, without a doubt, Paul, because like I said, like I touched on before, we can obviously simulate and verify the NC code that's going to the machine tool. But as well as that, you know, if you've got robotic loading uh, to, to load and unload the machine tool, then we can, we can assist with the simulation and verification of that as well. So we can, we can, we can offer a number of different uh, services, if you like, and, and solutions for company that are, companies that are looking to automate processes. And, and what if you are an existing customer and you need like a remote license now? What, what's, what's the, um, you know, what do you have to do in order to get one of those? Yeah, so obviously we've had a lot of, uh, a lot of customers asking us about this. So we're in a position, again, fa a fairly fortunate position that we can offer something called the CERT license. Uh, we're doing that free of charge at the moment uh, for all our existing customers. Uh, you know, as long as they're on maintenance, we can offer that service. And we've probably done it for 15, 20 percent of the customers out in the UK so far over the last three or four weeks. And I mean, this is this is I mean, you know, it is brilliant for you guys to be able to offer this, isn't it? Because it takes away any of those headaches for your existing customers uh, of maybe going to site and worrying about doing that verification and worrying about having collisions and things like that. Exactly that, Paul. And, and at the moment, people are seeing the value even greater than they would normally. You know, uh, being able to, like you say, simulate, verify the NC code without actually being stood in front of the machine tool, without even being in the factory, you know, that is, you know, it's, it's more valuable to our customers now than it ever has been. And, and how do you go about um, uh, sort of working out what a return on investment is for somebody with software like yourself? I suppose it's quite difficult to calculate because having an accident on an expensive component could be, you know, 500 pounds, it could be a thousand pounds, it could be 20,000 pounds. Are those the sorts of areas that you, that you uh, illustrate the savings on? 
Oh, without a doubt, Paul. You know, I mean, the, the worst worst case scenario is when the customer picks the phone up and says, "We've just had a bump, and it's cost us thirty grand for a, for a new spindle." Mm. We want to try and beat that, if you like, or avoid that wherever possible. And customers embrace the use of Vericut prior to that even happening. You know, so there's no downtime. There's not there's not that lot loss of production, and they're not hit by that pricey uh, pricey repair cost. And and with um with the the CAD CAM supplies, it sits quite neatly with all of all of the names that you know you and I would both know. Absolutely, and it's and it's following that process as well, Paul. You know, right from your CAD, your CAM, post process into Vericut, verify the the programs, and then you're confident that you can push them out to your to your factory out to your shop floor that you might be running a bit of a skeleton staff on uh, as we speak. So it just holds that value and, and that value is greater than it has been ever before, I guess. Um, I've got two more questions for you, Tim. First one, do you think this is going to change the way manufacturing operates what's going on at the moment? Or do you think we'll come out of it and it'll quickly, I mean, and, you know, don't get me wrong, it, it, it's a very, very tragic situation. And especially when we look at the amount of deaths that are occurring around the world. But do you think that we'll, we'll slip back into our old ways quite quickly? Or do you think there is things that will change forever, maybe for the better? Yeah, I, th I think it might be a bit of a mix, Paul. To, to be honest, because, you know, people people are probably understanding now that a lot of individuals, a lot of departments can work remotely and they can work remotely efficiently and to get the best results. So, yeah, there's no re real reason why we maybe go back to the way that we used to work or, or certainly maybe maybe make it more more of a relaxed approach for certain departments, certain individuals doing, you know, a particular function. I mean, you never know. You may even have to paint um, what you've got on those pop-up banners on your walls <laughs> for the future. Um, might be quicker yeah, than having to keep erect them. Drop out. <laughs> um, to, and the final question for you, Tim, is um, force optimization uh, offered to people making uh, critical parts for the ventilators. And this is something that you're talking about at the moment as well. Yeah, but we want to do our bit, Paul, because, you know, we've seen that there's a lot of customers out there that are rolling the sleeves up, they're getting involved with the ventilator challenge, and we want to do our bit. So any of our existing customers out there that want to make the parts quicker, because obviously the, the, the volumes that we're talking are, you know, significant, and the, the more than what a lot of customers cope with, uh, you know, day to day, if you like. So if we can help shave 15 20 up to 50 percent uh savings out of that machining time uh from that nc code by optimizing it using force then just pick the phone up guys because that's that's what we're here to uh to offer you if you like good, in good. these in these testing times so in essence they could be making a lot more parts a lot quicker which can help create the ventilators a lot faster which could in turn save lives potentially exactly that Paul. exactly that Good stuff. Great message. Thanks for joining us today, Tim. Uh, I'm sure we'll catch up again Thanks soon. Another uh, fantastic offering in support uh, of what's happening at the moment outside there uh, for everybody. Uh, that's from CG Tech um, here in the UK. And now don't forget, you can join in on our show. Uh, you can contact us at inquiries at mtdcnc.com. If you've got a message you want to get to the UK manufacturing audience, that's it from me today. We'll be back again tomorrow.